Okay, so next thing is configuration identification. A large number of items are part of the software development process. In a software development process, a large number of items are part of the like source and binary modules, hardware and operating systems, documentation of requirements, design, yes, we include hote hain. we have certain test cases, etc. Key is to identify the items that need to be under SCM. Now, what is the most important thing is that you will identify items that will be under the software configuration management. Ke under honge. Hai? Software configuration items basically kya hote hain? Wo kya hote hain? Wo parts or components which are related to software, they are unse relevant to the software configuration items. Kehte hain. Configuration identification is the process of establishing a baseline from which system changes are made. This is a process that is established by establish the baseline from which system changes are made, which allows the control to control the allow karte basically. Now, what is the baseline? When we attain the stability, we say that what is the point that we have established the baseline. Ko establish kar liya hai, hai? So, what needs to be under SCM? Items where changes need to be tracked and controlled. Wo items where changes ko track or control kiya jaye. Or agar aapko koi doubt ho, to aap us inventory of items mein se add up karte hain jo under SCM ho. Thik hai? Common items aapke paas software configuration management mein kya hai? Source code, documentation, jis mein humare paas requirements or design bhi aata hai. Hardware or operating system configuration. Okay, so ek jo hai general si definition humare paas hai ki configuration item kya hai? Configuration items basically means any single atomic item for which changes need to be tracked. एक ऐसा single item जिसके लिए changes को track करना जरूरी हो. For example, source code file, project plan, documentation standard, test cases हो सकता है, operating system configuration, etc. What is the baseline? A product that has been formally approved. ये एक ऐसा product है जिसे formally approved किया जा सकता है and consists of well-defined set, एक well-defined set भी contain करता हो जिसमें consistent configuration items पाए जाते हो अगर एक specific definition baseline की देखी जाए तो इसमें हमारे पास three things आ जाती है first is that it is a specification or product आप को गई ये कोई specification या product है जिसे formally review कर लिया गया है और एक responsible management के थ्रू इसे agree कर लिया गया है ठीक है next point is that it serves as a basis for further development अगर तो आप प्रोजेक्ट में या सॉफ्टवेयर की फर्दर डेवलपमेंट करना चाहते हो तो उसकी बेसिस के तौर पर क्या चीज सर्व करती है बेसलाइन सर्व करती है एज बेसिस अगर तो आप बेसलाइन अटेन कर लेते हैं उस पॉइंट पर पहुंच जाते हैं जहां आप स्टेबिलिटी को अटेन कर लेते हैं तो आप कहोगे कि आपने बेसलाइन को एस्टैब्लिश कर लिया है और अब आपने एक फाउंडेशन एक बेसिस रख दी है जिसके थ्रू आप फर्दर डेवलपमेंट कर सकते हो तो आप कह सकते हो कि for the development के लिए baseline के establish होना बहुत जरूरी है and अगर आपने further जो है changes करने हों and can be changed only through formal change control procedures इसका मतलब है कि अगर आपने further changes करने हों तो उन changes को आप कैसे कर सकते हो only through formal change control procedures यानी baseline establish हो गई आप कहते further development भी हो रही है अब अगर आपने changes को लेकर आना है तो उसके लिए आपको किस चीज की जरूरत है? You need formal change control procedures. Okay, so let's talk about version allocation. Once a configuration item has been identified, हम कहते हैं जब एक configuration item identify हो जाता है, एक proper version number उसे allocate कर दिया जाता है. Best option क्या है कि आप major minor versioning scheme जो एक scheme है, उसके साथ start लें. Like major version numbers are between जो आपके major version numbers होते हैं वो between zero to n होते हैं जबकि जो minor version numbers हैं that should be between zero to hundred as they are stated by its name that they are minor. So as here in the examples you can see report dot java अब ये version one point two three है this one is basically major version and this part after the decimal indicates minor version okay you can see here major version is one point zero and minor version is twenty three Similarly, we have here a configuration item that is project plan. After it gets identified, a version number is allocated to it that is 6.34D. Here we will say that 6 is basically major version, 3.4 is basically minor version and D here indicates a draft. Versioning scheme is developed by the company to suit their needs. The versioning scheme is developed by a company to suit their needs according to their needs. It develops the versioning scheme. So this was basically the major points about which you should have idea when you are asked about the concept of software configuration management. If you know the in brief details, then you have enough knowledge about software configuration management. 
two points that were not present in these slides that were that what is the goal or uh, scope of software configuration management so basically the goals of software configuration management is that productivity ko increase kiya jai, and the second one is risk ko ya phir errors ko remove kiya jai. so basically first goal is what to increase productivity and the second point or second goal is to remove errors goal ki baat ab next thing hai what is scope of software configuration management so basically hum ye kehte hain ki jo software configuration management hai wo throughout life cycle apply hota hai so this is the scope of scm i hope that this topic is clear to you all share our videos with your friends don't forget to like it and subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed it yet we'll meet in new videos Till then, Allah Hafiz.